What's up, party people? Android stud here. It's time for a little CS the stream. I'm headed to work. I'm gonna see what was going on. Talk about the OnePlus 6. Talk about the P20 Pro. The HTC U12 Plus. And Essential. A lot of news this week. It's been a little crazy. What's up, Viper? Viper keeping it hyper, man. <laughs> keeping it hot. Keeping it moving. Yes, sir. Pretty good, man. Been using the OnePlus 6. Heck yeah. Been using the OnePlus 6 since I got it on Friday, so... Just about two days with it. What's up, Santos? Pretty cool device. Um, really enjoying it. Really enjoying the screen. Uh, really enjoying the uh, party people in the building. Tony Pazzo, shout out to you. Really enjoying uh, a lot of things about it. It's got a really big screen. That's one thing I noticed when you're watching content on it. It's really big. What's up, Steve? And it's um, it's just like, it just seems real flat, you know? Like real flat. Not that curved design from the S9 Plus or the Note 8. You know, it's just a, it's the screen's gigantic on it. <laughs> That's cool, man. Enjoy your party time. I'm glad you're having a good time, man. You, Memorial Day weekend, man. Enjoy it. I'll be off tomorrow. It's been raining all weekend, though, here in Miami. So, but we make the most of it. Man, just got up from... I actually did just wake up from a siesta. <laughs> Ooh, had a big lunch with the wife and uh, fell asleep for like a half hour. And now I got to head to work. Um, but I feel better now. So, it's all good in the hood. Got my uh, got my coffee here on, on deck from a mentioned uh, coffee <laughs> distributor. They don't sponsor this segment, so they get no shout out. <laughs> Woo, five minute walk, that's the way to do it. How long does that take, Tony? How long does that five minute walk take, man? That must take, let me guess, uh, about an hour and a half, right? That's an hour and a half walk right there. <laughs> Starbucks is legit. I don't know what you're talking about, Viper. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it took me two hours. Yeah, definitely. Five minute walk. Because I walk about three miles. I don't do it often. I'm not the workout type, man. I'm just, ah, I'm just not, man. I used to work out a lot, man. I got to get back in the gym. I play a lot of basketball, which helps me. Okay, you were stopping and taking photos. Cool. Yeah, I tell you, uh, I play a lot of basketball, which makes no sense because I'm like five foot tall. <laughs> But, you know, I play with white guys, man. We get it done. Uh, OnePlus 6. Hey, if you guys have the OnePlus 6, when you go to the OnePlus on YouTube, you get like a little white line when you're going up and down. Um, yeah, my Project 13, what's up? Hey, man, I like your little intro. You, you take that little jumper. That's pretty hot, man. That's pretty hot. I like that a lot, man. Good work by you. That's nice. <laughs> That's real cool, man. And jeans and everything, man. <laughs> Oregon! <laughs> What's up? Man, five miles. I know, man. Jeans and all, bro. Ooh, with the hat and everything. Fade away. Step back. Doing it like Durant. Oh, man. This coffee's good. Yeah, so I'm enjoying the OnePlus 6. Um, I'm struggling though, man. I'm really, I gotta, I gotta confess to you guys. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about here on the stream. You know, we got the OnePlus 6. I just picked up the P20 Pro a couple weeks ago. And, uh, U12 Plus is coming. LG G7 is coming. Um, but I'm struggling, man, because every time I get my P20, what's up, Zach? What's going on, man? I know you just got the P20. I'm glad you jumped in here because you just picked it up. Every time I, 
I, oh, I just got this new case too, guys. Check this out. The only thing I don't like is that writing on there. It says autofocus, ultimate experience. I don't know why they had to put that on there. That's kind of stupid. But the rest of the case is pretty cool. Yeah, I saw that. I saw your little live unboxing. Um, but this case is dope. I'm going to be doing a case, uh, a case review on this case. is nice, man. I really like it. It's got good protection. Um, it's real nice. I didn't like the silicone one that I did a, uh, did a review on. Um, didn't like that case. Too slippery. Um, this one, I got it from um, eBay. I'm going to shoot you the link. I got this uh I got this from eBay not eBay I got this from Amazon it's from some some uh, manufacturer I'm not sure who he is but it's real nice man they got different colors too I think they have a black one a blue and gray I think like a silver um, but this one's real nice I like this one a lot I had a clear one I got two clear ones so I'm gonna be doing some case reviews on these so look out for that but man every time I pick up the p20 I want to use the P20, and every time I pick up the OnePlus 6, I want to use the OnePlus 6. So I'm having a real tough time. What's up, Alan? What's happening, baby? I'm having a real tough time deciding between the two, man. It's tough. But I'm making myself use... Uh, oh, Zach, you got that twilight color. Yeah, bro. You got to get a clear case, and you got... You gotta get yourself one that's really clear, clean, and you know, walk around with a microfiber cloth, man, because you wanna show off that color. That color is nice. I have the blue one, the midnight blue, which I think is real nice, but that twilight, forget it, man. Good for you, man. You waited for the color. You got good patience. I don't. You probably get in the white one plus six too. Cause you're patient. You're patient, dude. Yeah, Rinky's really clear. They have, I think they have a Rinky for the uh, P20 Pro, so check that out. Um, I might even pick that one up too, because I, I haven't tried the Rinky one yet, I don't think. I got the Olivar one and some other uh, cheaper one that's actually pretty good. It's got uh, reinforced edges or corners on, on all four corners, so that's pretty cool. Oh, you played city ball for five years, bro. You're a true baller. Man, if we ever get together, we got to play a little bit. That's for sure. Yeah, the case is hot for sure, Viper. What up, Fog Tech Reviews? What's going on, man? You waiting for that rose? <laughs> cool. What's up, Sean? What else? Greetings from Florida. For the love of tech. Ah, what's going on, man? What's up, Sean? Yeah, man, so we've got the OnePlus 6, man, out there. What's up, Fotech? Yeah, man, Zach, there's some good people in here, man. Zach and I were uh, talking about it on Twitter. He said that he turned off all his notifications off from all the big YouTubers. And that way, when he gets a notification, it's from smaller YouTubers or mid-sized YouTubers like me, him, you know, some other guys so that he can support the smaller dude, which is a great idea. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set up my thing and, uh, and uh, just have notifications from all my guys like Zach, uh, for the love of tech, Tony Pazzo, uh, for tech reviews, all these dudes, man. That way... We're just watching each other, man, and supporting each other. But not only that, we're commenting on their videos. People see that, and it's like a, it's like a family, bro. It's like a YouTube uh, community. So we support each other. We and we learn from everybody, man. I learn, I learn from, I learn from all you guys, man. I watch all your videos. I pick up stuff. I don't copy. I copy a couple things. <laughs> But uh, I, you know, I, I get advice, man. I get, I pick up tips, you know. What? Oh man, dude, are you serious? No way, bro. What? Oh my gosh, bro. Thank you, man. That's that's going back in the community, man. That's going back in the community. <laughs> I gotta put that back in, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's going back in. 
<laughs> I'm going back. I will. I'm a. I gotta send some of that to some of the other guys, man. That's some good stuff. Thank you for the love attack. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. I, I'm like, all right, here, man. Cheers to you, man, and to this company of that makes coffee. Cheers to you, man. Thank you so much, man. You're a good dude, man. You're a good dude. I'm glad we met. Oh, this coffee's good, by the way. <laughs> yeah, man. We gotta some. We gotta support each other because we're all we all love tech. I think that's why we got into it because we all love tech. Um, what's up, Philly Jazzy Jeff? For the love of tech, just super chat. He just hit. He broke the super chat record on my channel. He just slapped down a cool hundred dollars. Check out that chat, bro. Look at that chat, Philly. Hey, Philly Jazzy Jeff, man. You guys getting LeBron after tonight? <laughs> LeBron's headed to Philly. He's going from Boston to Philly straight tonight. Kawhi's going to meet him there and uh, Paul George. <laughs> They're going to make an Eastern Conference super, super team. Yeah, but man, we got to support each other, man. That's what it's about. I mean, I've learned so much in the last year doing this YouTube thing. It's been so much fun. And I love how we all got our own styles. Uh, you know, we got all our own styles, man. Yeah, Lover Tech, man. Yeah, check out Lover Tech. If you guys haven't checked out his channel for the Lover Tech, Lover Tech. For the Lover Tech, sorry about that. Lover Tech is another guy that I've been watching who's pretty cool, cool guy from, from the UK. Uh, for the Lover Tech, man, check out his channel. He's a good dude. Um, Zach, too, bro. He's the man. Um, <laughs> Sean, Sean, man, what, what, where's, where's LeBron supposed to do after this year? What would make you happy, Sean? <laughs> what would make you happy? <laughs> yeah, man, for the love of text, a good guy, man. Check out his content for the love of tech. I keep saying lover, lover of tech. Why am I doing that? For the love of tech, check him out. Man, there's like no traffic on the road. I think everybody's at out of town oh did you have you done a video with it Zach that's that 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture that's the real deal right there bro I want to get me another lens I was looking at uh oh man that's awesome bro wait till you shoot your first video I'm thinking about getting another lens I don't know if I'm gonna get the um I think Sigma makes a 30 millimeter one, and also Sony makes a 35 millimeter 1.8. I think. So I'm thinking about picking up. Or there's another one that's a lot of money, bro. It's an 85 millimeter. That one looks really expensive, but we'll see. There's a guy on YouTube. If you guys want to check out lenses for the Sony camera. He's a good dude, man. Um, real nice guy. Um, hey, what's up, Ivan? What's going on, man? Oh, sweet. If you guys want to know about lenses, real nice guy. He's on YouTube. Uh, his name is... It, he, the name of the channel is Technology Mafia. Technology Mafia. Technology Mafia. Search that on YouTube. Check him out. It's funny because he's his channel, you think he's like this thug dude, you know, from like you know, from like Miami or LA or New York, and it's this guy who's just a nice guy and he knows his stuff. Yeah, man, technology mafia, that's it. And uh the the 35 will change your videos forever. Oh shoot, yeah, man. See? But you know what? I've saved up some pennies and now that my man dropped a hundred on there, woo! I might have to go get that lens. I might have to go get that 35 millimeter 1.8. Just, I just want to, you know, uh, mostly for because I want to do some more on camera stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to um, grow my channel, so I want to get in front of the cam camera a little bit, um, do some intros, some outros, maybe some, you know, some bridges for my video, just to give it that, give it some spice, you know, give it some of that salsa. Um, just trying some new things. I don't know if you guys saw my log. Uh, my log. <laughs> my vlog. 
<laughs> Ryan, you're funny. Dude, I took a good nap today, man. Uh, you ever have one of those where you're watching YouTube videos on your phone and you're kind of just dozing off and you're hanging in there and then you just drop, boom. Those are the best and you just you just get a good night's sleep in like 30 minutes. <laughs> because I had to get to work. That's why I got the coffee. Coffee going. So what do you guys think of the OnePlus 6? Who's got the OnePlus 6? Uh, I'm not sure if anyone who's in this stream has it or is in the chat. Um, I'm enjoying it though, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm having a real tough time between which one I want to use, the P20 Pro or the OnePlus 6. Uh, it's tough for me. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's used to the fancy smartphone production videos of Linus and other big channels. You got, oh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Hey, Paza, what do you think of that OnePlus 6? Oh, man. Right? Zach, are you having the same struggle? Like, you use the OnePlus 6, right? And then you pick up the P20 Pro and you're like, damn, man. I don't know. I honestly never had that problem with the phone. I'll either... You know, like if I had the Pixel 2 XL and I I, be, I was using the S9 Plus, I go pick up the Pixel 2 and I'm like, all right, I'm done with this Samsung phone, you know, or vice versa, whatever. I'm not trying to pick on the phone. I'm not trying to um, put down any phone, but it's the first time where I've actually had like this, shoot, I don't know what to do, you know. Um, you know, OnePlus 6 and the P20 Pro, they both don't have uh, wireless charging. Um, I'm not really feeling the beauty mode on the front-facing camera uh, on the P20 Pro. When I turn it off, I like it a lot better. Um, also, the AI sometimes can be a little, little too much on the P20 Pro. Um, but it's not a big deal because I just turn it off or I'll turn it back on. So for me, it's it, that's not a that's not a deal breaker. Um, those are the only two things I think on the P20 Pro. And some of the things in the settings, you gotta kinda dig for them. And notifications sometimes can be a little hit or miss on the P20 Pro, but it's usually for things that aren't that important. Uh, no, that's a good that's a good point, Yvonne. How secure, there you go, who's gonna be the first one to make that video? How secure is your is the face unlock on the OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 5 or OnePlus 5T? How secure is face unlock on OnePlus phones? Coming up tonight at 10. <laughs> you like that? All right, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go make a video. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, on the OnePlus 6, the cameras, I haven't been able to use the camera that, that much. I, you know, I took some shots of, like I went out to eat with my wife last night and I got some food. But I haven't really been able to take some nice portraits outside, um, or you know, go to the, you know, go somewhere nice like a, you know, my backyard with the sun coming down. I've been a little busy. Uh, I'll probably take some pictures tomorrow, Memorial Day, but with both the P20 Pro and the One Six. Um, so I'll give it a good run for its money. Um, it seemed like the the front facing camera on the One Plus Six. I took one. I took a couple. Came out pretty good. Um, is the OnePlus 6 going to add portrait to their front-facing camera or it will only be on the rear? I'm not sure about that. I don't know if you guys can answer that question or not, but that'd be great if you guys... Um, yeah, that'd be great. Can you come in Tuesday, fill out those TPC reports? <laughs> Remember that movie? Oh! Man. The Note 9. That's going to be something else. You 11... The UI on the P20 Pro is weird. Yeah, settings odd, but I do like the navigation. Uh, uh, the navigation with, on the with the home button is excellent. I, when I went from the P20 to the OnePlus 6, I was kind of like, ah, I kind of missed that home button um, thing. I know what you mean. Sammy, for why I need to give these bull. Yeah, I'm with you, man. Uh, for the love of tech, the selfie cam on the Bokeh is pretty good. Um, 
like on the Mate 10 Pro, when you would take a bo selfie bokey on it, it would be real, um, real washed out. But on the P20 Pro, the color's a little better. Um, I turn off the beauty mode because I'm not, I'm just, it just, I, it just, it's, I mean, I need all the beauty I can get, you know what I mean? But I turn it off because it just, it just makes things too soft, you know? Um, so I, I turn it off. Like I'll take one right now with the P20 Pro because I got it right here. Let's do a little selfie, portrait. Gonna turn off the uh, beauty level. See how this comes out. Yeah, man, that's, I mean, it's pretty damn good, man. I'm gonna try to drop this in the description if I can later. But I don't know if you guys can, you probably can't see that. Let me get somewhere where you guys can see the phone. But the P20 Pro camera is so good, man. I mean, there's no, there's no picture you can't, like, the P20 Pro's camera is better than OnePlus 6. It's as good as the P, the Pixel 2 XL. It, it's way, it's better than the Samsung phone. It's better than the iPhone. Um, I think the P20 Pro might have the best camera right now. I mean, I mean, that triple camera on the back. And then you got the front-facing 24 megapixel goodness. I don't know, man, if anything can really compete with it at this point. Um, the, the Huawei did a great job with the cameras, and it's got the it's got those lenses from that German photography company, and those, those guys don't play around, bro. You know, they get it done. You know, they get it done. So. I mean, it's a it's a really. God, I still can't believe this guy gave a hundred dollars. What a blessing! Thank you. You are the man for the love of tech. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm getting to work, so I'm gonna park. Man, this 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 shot's pretty good, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's a selfie, so I'm not trying to be like conceited or anything, but it's just the the picture looks good, not me. You know, I ain't I ain't I'm not all that. You know, <laughs> but let's see if you guys can see this picture. Ooh, sorry. Let me turn up the brightness. Maybe that'll help. I mean, it just came out pretty good, man. It came out pretty darn good. It was pretty good. I don't know what you guys think, but... Oh, the camera. This camera's good. It's good. That OnePlus 6 camera's not as good. From the... the the, I'm on, I haven't taken a lot of pictures with it, so I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Yvonne, see the lab test at GNC Pro. The Sony XZ2 got better results. Yeah, I'm going to send that selfie. You're right, Forbes. I'm going to send that selfie to Alan. He's going to get it. Oh, okay, Jason Gill, thank you. So the OnePlus 6 will get portrait in about a month. Yeah, I do remember them saying that at the keynote. So that's good. I mean, here's the thing with the OnePlus cameras. Um, it's a lot better camera for a smartphone than most, than most phones. Like, for the price point, it's an excellent camera. Now, if the phone was $800, then it probably would want a little better camera. The funny thing about OnePlus and companies like the Razer and Essential, um, you know, Essential's had their issues with their camera, and so has Razer. And at times, OnePlus has improved their cameras with software. So, um, if you think about it, a lot of these... Uh, phone companies fix up their fix their can fix their cameras and add software to improve the the uh, performance of their cameras which is a good thing you know what I mean but yeah man um, camera wise the p20 pro I got to give it the nod so far um, 
just big dog in the house. Big dog's in the house. What's up, big dog? You doing all right? What you rocking now, bro? You got the one plus six or what? Yeah, man. Wow, that coffee's good. Nothing like a good... Oh, you got the XZ2. Nice. Is that the one that's... That's not the XZ2 Premium, right? That's the just the regular XZ2? That's a... How is that phone? Oh, Mate 9. Nice. I like it. Okay, the regular one. How is it? You like it? That's the one they got at, at um, Best Buy, right? The one at Best Buy? That's on sale, Best Buy? That's a good one. But I'm telling you, man. Um, I'm having a real struggle. Like if... Uh, like if this had... Like if the P20 Pro had just total stock Android. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. This would be, this would be it. I mean, the thing I like about this phone is, um, I really like the the. It's like it's it's got a big screen, a six point one inch display, but it's real compact. You know, you you could really use this with one hand, and I don't have like gigantic hands like, you know, Shaquille O'Neal or anything. Um, so it's got it's got some good good um, ergonomics, I guess is what they call it. Where the OnePlus a little, uh, feels like it's a little taller, and bigger screen, a little wider, so it's hard to navigate with one hand, which is not a big deal. I just, I like the look of the OnePlus screen, how it's like flat and wide. Um, it's real enjoyable to use, you know what I mean? What do you guys think of that HTC U12 Plus in those... The squeeze and the buttons on the side or the fake buttons. Yeah, I know. I know you. <laughs> Big dog. I know, man. I know. I know how it is. Is it, be is it better than the XZ Premium? Yeah, I know. you, Viper, I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. But I'm hearing the cameras are pretty good. The cameras apparently are pretty boss. But the cameras were good on the U11. And the one thing I'm hearing on the U12 Plus, which is good news, is the U11 Plus, the screen was dim as hell, man. I had that phone, and that was the only thing that made me sell it is because the screen was dim. I mean, I'd crank it up to 100%. I would put it up to the, the U11, the smaller one, and it was brighter. Bro, if I put it up next to the the OnePlus 5, I think I had at the time, or the 5T. Dude, the, the U11 screen brightness was terrible. Terrible. So they're saying that the U12 Plus, the brightness on is really good. So, um, and I don't know about those buttons on the side. That's kind of weird. They don't really, is it true they don't really have like a physical button? Um, for the volume and the power it's like a pressure sensitive button which is man it's kind of futuristic if it works um, the squeeze feature is cool I enjoy using that on the pixel 2 XL and also on the u11 um, u11 is a little more functional because you can change what you want to do with it if you want to open an app or a camera or do something else where on the Pixel 2 XL, you can only uh, do Google, Google Assistant, which is useful, you know? It's useful. What do you guys think about that G7? Thin Q! No buttons on the new HTC, all touch sensitive. Yep. There it is, big dog. Reporting it. Yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Viper said, G7, more meat weak sauce. Sheesh. I don't know, man. I I take the G. I take Viper. I'll take the LG G7 over the iPhone 9 any day. <laughs> that iPhone 9 was garbage. Oh man. 
Hey, I'll trade you an iPhone 9 and a OnePlus 4 for your HTC U12 Plus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, the iPhone 9, that's the best phone Apple ever made. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're right. The LG G7, you know, it's got a better um, display. It's got better cameras. It's got the AI in the camera. It's got the AI button. <laughs> and, I, you know, I think it's got some good things coming. What up, Jeff Kennedy? What you up to, man? What phone you rocking, Jeff? Hey, do me a favor, man, before I get out of here. Uh, why don't you guys just drop drop in there uh, what phone you're using today and what you guys are doing tomorrow for Memorial Day. Uh, I might try to do a stream on Memorial Day. A little barbecue stream. Oh, SA Plus. I like it. Boost. OnePlus 5T. PH1. The faithful, baby. The faithful. I like it. I'm on the OnePlus 6. I got the P20 Pro just hanging out over here. Like, you know, dance with me. Um, trying to think, what else? What are the phones? I mean, they're going to be announcing that, that Xiaomi Mi 8 this week. So that should be interesting. V30 S9 Plus. Essential, baby. I like it. What you? What was your other phone, Viper? Oh, iPhone 10, Galaxy S9 Plus, and a Pixel 2 XL. Wow, bro, you got a, uh, you got quite a trio there. You ain't taking no bad pictures, that's for sure. <laughs> They're like Viper, come take some shots for us. Ah, uh, okay, nothing special. There you go. Is the is the One Plus Six worth it? And better than the essential phone. That's a tough question. They're two. They're different types of. They're they're both differently built. The essential phone's a little more compact. Um, the One Plus Six is is a big screen. So if you like a real if a smaller compact phone, I would go with the essential phone. If you like a bigger phone for a great price that has a lot of flagship specs as far as a processor, as far as RAM, as far as uh, storage, then the OnePlus 6 is a no-brainer. I mean, honestly, for $529, I don't, I don't know what phone at those specs you're gonna get at that range. The only thing it doesn't have is the wireless charging, the waterproofing, and some could debate, um, you know, the camera's as good as the P20 Pro or the Pixel 2 XL or the iPhone 10 or, you know, the S9 Plus uh, cameras. So, it just depends, you know. I think uh, it's a matter of preference because the, the, uh, the essential phone is just a smaller phone, bro, you know. Yeah, man, the XE Premium, XE Premium telephone is, it's a good device. Now, it's got it's got bezels for days. So if you if you're if you're already like dummy down to having a bezelless design, you're gonna struggle having that phone. I personally didn't have a problem with it. I think it's just sexy. It's just, and I want the Chrome one. If I can get the Chrome one for four hundred, I'm probably gonna get it because I like the Chrome one. What's up, YS? What phone you rocking? <laughs> no, Viper's not taking any bad pictures. Z3? Oh, what's that one? The Z3, Z3, Z3. What is that? Boost, what is that? What's a Z3? Not sure what the Z3 is. Oh, the Moto. Moto, 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 Moto. <sighs> You're asking the wrong guy, man. You got to ask phone tech at work. 
one of those other guys that deal with a lot of moto phones i'm not a big moto phone guy um not sure not sure man i know that um i love the the last phone that i really liked and that was a good phone man it had you the battery lasted for two days the camera was really good and it ran stock android that was the moto z play excellent phone i mean it was and i got it for a really good price from best buy they price matched i had another coupon it was open box man i got an excellent excellent deal at the time it was a couple years ago i think and the pictures on that thing was you know it wasn't like like the top-notch camera but it just for some reason it just took really good pictures um you know the cameras now they have portrait mode and do lenses and all kinds of stuff man um you know yeah i'm telling you man you drop in the best buy every once in a while you can get yourself a really good deal and um always price match man when you're in there get on your phone uh whatever phone they have in there google it because they'll price match um i picked up the honor 8 for my dad and they had the honor 8 for like a hundred dollars less on amazon i think it was and Best Buy price bashed it, man. The guy was like, damn. He's like, I can't believe I'm giving you this much off. But he goes, it's our policy. We have to price match. So he, I gave, I, I got that from my dad two years ago. Or three years ago. I think it was three years ago. He still has the Honor 8. Um, it don't have Oreo, but, <laughs> you know, my dad, he don't need Oreo. He just need, like, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> he's good. Yeah, Honor 8's a great, great phone. Yeah, man, they price match everything, man. Yeah, the Honor 8 is a good phone, man. That's the that Honor 10 looks good. I mean, I heard that that's got some good cameras. Kind it's it's almost like a a baby P20 Pro. So, um, interesting, you know. It's interesting. I haven't seen anybody have uh, used the P20. Um, it still has a Snapdragon 845, right? Or no, it has a, it still has, my bad. The P20, not the Pro, it still has a nine, the Kirin 970, right? I hate when I do that. I'll, I say all these phones have 845s and they don't. <laughs> Come on, knucklehead. Night Tech told me one time in video, he's like, hey, you said it had a Snapdragon. It has the Kirin 970. I'm like, yeah, I know, my bad. I think it's when I was doing Talking Tech Tuesday and I was talking about this thing. It's funny when I'm talking Tech Tuesday, I'll talk about a phone, and now it's finally here. Hey, man, I'll see you tonight, bro. Um, thank you. I'm hoping I get your notification when you do go live, Zach. Tech, Zach, Zach. Hey, man, if you guys haven't checked out Zach Talks Tech, check him out on YouTube. Cool dude. Uh, in Canada, I believe. Check him out. He's got a YouTube channel. Please check him out. Uh, good guy he's a big supporter of the of the community uh, that we're all representing but uh yeah I'm gonna get out of here man I gotta get to work what matte protector works with the FPH1 that isn't pixelated rainbow can't find anything um I, I use the uh, on the essential I use the incipio I think it was. I think I used the, no, Poetic, the Poetic one, but I heard there's one that's better from, I want to say Incipio, one of those. I'll try to find out. Leave a comment, Mike, if you can, on one of my essential videos, and I'll try to find out where those screen protectors, because I got a tempered glass for the essential phone, and it was really, really good. Um, so... All right, Yvonne, take care, man. Jeff Kenny, thanks for stopping in. Mike, Zach, Jason, Gil, Boost, 34, thank you. Uh, Philly, Jazzy, Jeff, thank you. YS, thank you so much. He's rocking that U11. I love it. Great phone. Um, Viper, thank you for stopping in, bro. Go check out Viper. He's got an excellent channel, um, but he's going to wake you up. He brings fire to his, his, he's got a lot of energy, so make sure you're up 
Oh, he's going to wake you up. Don't worry about it. Brian Peters, thanks for stepping by. Big dog, thank you. Uh, Mike, thank you. Uh, who else was in here? Phone Tech at Work, Forb Tech Reviews, thank you. Uh, who else? Who else? Big dog, thank you. Probably already said big dog, but that's all right. For the love of tech, thank you so much, sir. That is very generous of you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, who else was in here? Ryan, thank you so for stopping by. Houseman, Pony Pazzo, thank you. I'm just doing a roll call here. I don't want to forget anybody. If I did forget you, I'm so sorry. Shano, LeBron's a beast. Swallow the pill. I'll give you some Kool-Aid. No worries. My Project 13, thank you. Tony Pazzo, yes, sir. Mark Turan, thank you for stopping in. Who else? Who else? Who else? Just doing a little roll call here, guys. A little roll call. Tom Tech Time. Thank you. Steve Warman. You're so faithful, dude. Much love to you, Steve. I appreciate all your support. Santos, thank you for your support. Viper, first one in the first one in here. Lock. <laughs> LeBron is overrated. <sighs> Alright, man. I'm gonna go. I gotta get to work gonna watch this game tonight Cavs Celtics Celtics win they're gonna probably play the Golden State Warriors and get swept sorry Boston <laughs> just the way it is they're the best team on the planet no one's beating them uh, if you're a Golden State fan enjoy it, it only lasts so long trust me I was here I was covering the big three in Miami when they went on their run and it was a great time um, but it ended, and it will end in Golden State also <laughs> at some point. But not this season. You guys will win it again, so congratulations. Hey, no problem for the love of tech, man. Um, I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, you guys check out for the love of tech. Zach Talks Tech, Phone Tech at, phone tech at Work, Forbes Tech Reviews, Tony Pazzo, My Project 13, and Viper. These are all great guys. Check them out on their channel, man. I check you guys out. Much love. Enjoy your devices. P20 Pro, OnePlus 6. Peace. Essential.